the, the challenges that I'm sort of being engaged on at the moment are, you know, how do you, how do you engage a team? How do you help people drive their own sort of sense of autonomy and, in, and engagement personally? And, and to turn extrinsic motivation into intrinsic motivation is the gold standard, right? Mm. And so how do you help people manage their own well-being, you know, particularly in remote environments? And now obviously in Queensland and Australia, I think, is the um, legislated sort of awareness of um, mental health as well mm. and the responsibility of boards and stuff. Um, so how do you help people work in these complex environments where there is stress and pressure and still make choices that move you um, towards where you want to be. And so, yeah, that, that challenge of a remote workforce and then how do we make the most of in-person time is a really common one. Um, how do we help our people manage with the new degree of stress or, or the different stresses and pressures now of hybrid working how do we keep the comms up where once upon a time there was water cooler talk to your point, Jackson? Mm -hmm. um, and how do we get really intentional around it? And I think this is where once upon a time we could do things by default just by, you know, we were in, in an office. That's gone. Yeah. You know? See person in chair, therefore doing job. Yeah. That's how it used to be, right? Yeah. And now it, it requires intention and design and thought and that's hard, mm. you know, um, but if done well, you know, you, you build the competitive advantage, you build the team and the culture, you know, you, you know, I realise talent is a massive issue at the moment for just about every industry. So how do you retain and attract the best?